everybody. This is Jonathan Dorn, CPA, licensed CPA in the state of Florida, strongest CPA in Florida, of CPA strength. Well, I'm trying to be the strongest CPA in Florida. We'll see. But anyways, um, I think on my last video, I had two different people request that I do a video on what order to take the CPA exams. Now, we're going to do two caveats on that, okay? Um, I guess first caveat is on all these videos, these are just my opinion, and I'm nobody, okay? I did pass the exams, but, you know, these are my opinion. I'm not saying you should do this. I want to reiterate that just my opinion, okay? Just my opinion. Second one is, I don't really think it matters too much. But, now, um, for, for quick, I'll give you, if I was, if I was, if I, if I was to do it over right now, I would probably do B, C first, then reg, then audit, then far. Uh, why did I say that? Why would I do it like that? Um, because I would... I would just get used to everything and there's two, these two exams, BEC and REG are three hours long and audit and FAR is four hours so I would do the three hour ones first, get the three hour ones out of the way first, um, again that's just me. And then why would I pick BEC um, over REG? Well, <clears throat> because BEC is the only one that has uh, written communication on it, and that's worth 15% of your grade, while the multiple choice is 85%. Uh, the other three exams, Reg, Audit, and FAR, they all are worth 60% uh, multiple choice is worth 60% and 40% uh, of your grade is, is the simulations. So, um, what did I do? Uh, when I did, I did I did FAR first, then reg, well failed FAR, failed reg, passed reg, then took BEC. So uh, I was used to doing the simulations. I finally passed an exam. I got decent at the authoritative literature and had to access it all. And then I had to just go away from that and do the written communication of BEC. So I think if I could do it over, I would uh, do BEC first, hopefully pass it, uh, and then you don't have to worry about the written communication and everything left is uh, simulations. But um, let's see, um, yeah, and uh, I, th I thought BEC was easiest, audit was second easiest, reg was third easiest. Um, far was the hardest for me. Um, I guess there's two, two different schools of thought. Um, one being that you take the easiest ones first and knock them out, uh, and then you know get some victories, get your confidence up, you know. And uh, I think I'm on that. I'm on that path where I would like to get some victories in. Now, <clears throat> conversely, if, I mean, well, on that one, if that vein, in that vein, if you take the easy ones first and you pass, pass the easy ones, and then you take the hard, and then you take a hard one at the end. Like if you say far, because far is really the beast. I think I don't know. I think most people say far is the beast. If you save that for the end, and then. Uh, and failed a few times and then uh, stuff starts expiring and it's gonna get a little stressful but I would go that way the other thought is you take the hard harder ones first the harder ones uh, get victories that way you know maybe you fail that a couple times um, <clears throat> but you finally pass it then you have three then you have to pass the other three in 18 months and um, well, those are supposedly the easier ones, and you'll do that. So, 
and again, and once again, I'm saying the easy one, the hard one, uh, they're all. No, I mean, for me, they were right. Uh, I don't know. They're all fucking hard. So, so I basically went over this and the order I would go. Now I just we'll go over some other stuff. Well, it's already five minutes long. Um, shit, yeah, well, we'll just go over this really fast, and if somebody wants me to explain something further of anything, just uh, drop a drop a comment down there, because I do read all the comments, I love the comments, um, you know, I just do this to try to give back and help, uh, it's kind of fun after a long day of work, so, anyways, um, so you have to pass all four in 18 months. So basically, you pass the first that you pass your first exam, and then you have a year and a half to pass your other the other three. And uh, if you if you don't, uh, credits start expiring. Like let's say you do well, we'll just leave it at that. Credits start expiring after 18 months, so better pass it. Now, when can you when can you take the exam? There's four different testing windows. Testing these are the test testing window one is the first quarter, first three months. Uh, second window is the second quarter. Third window is third quarter. Fourth window is the fourth quarter. Now the third the third month in every quarter is called blackout month, and you cannot take the exam that month. Um, they don't, they don't offer this, I don't really know why, but they don't offer those that month. So, um, you can really only take the exams for eight months out of the year. And one additional thing is you can only take, uh, each exam per window. Like, you could take... You could take a. Uh, move it now. Okay. Let me get a, let me get a different color. Let me get a different color here. So, anyways, you can take. Um, we'll say in the first testing window, you can take B E C in January. You can take Reg in January. Uh, you can take Audit and Far. Yeah, you can you can take them all in the same month. Uh, you could do, obviously, these, you know, you, you just can't do, you can only do one, one section per window. You, like, if you take, if you take BEC in January, you can't take BEC again until April or May, you know. Um, and then, you know, you can only take it once per window. Each, my fat ass head, each section once per window. But anyways, uh, ooh. We're at nine minutes. This is definitely way too long. Uh, anyways, uh, I gave you, I think my favorite quote last time is that uh, if, 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 you don't, if you don't quit, it's just a setback. It's not a failure. Uh, I don't really have another quote right off the top of my head now. Except, uh, you know, I think everybody, everybody gets nervous on these exams. I freaking got nervous. I was like, oh God, I, you know, almost, I think one time I wish my car broke down on the way there so I wouldn't have to take it, but you just gotta deal with it. And uh, I think if you are if you can sit for the exam, you can pass the exam, guaranteed. All right, deuce.